this is kind of awkward <laughs> to film an under the sink video, but here I go. I need to do this, so I'm taking you along with me. My sink looks like just grosser than gross. I don't know what has happened to my house. Maybe it's four kids and I went from being organized sort of to completely a mess. So let me show you this lovely under the sink stuff. It's beautiful. It really is. I am going to take you along and do my best to actually make it look nice and not just chuck full of bags and crap. So let me see if I can take you in. Do you see all that inside? And dirty. Oh my goodness. I'm a slob. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's take everything out. too much. So I will keep those in there, throw that away, get rid of these containers. Containers really bulk up this space. Get something more slim and streamlined here that will work better. <clears throat> So a tip for keeping, these are the cleaners I don't use on a regular basis. Um, I mean, I do, but not daily. So these are just an extras. I don't mop every day like I should. So they're gonna go more towards the bat. These are the three that I tend to use more regularly. This is just one from the Grove Collaborative and it is a just an all-purpose cleaner in here disinfectant wipes, and then anti-bag. This is an anti, it just kills everything, disinfects everything. So, I'm gonna put those. Look at that, oh my gosh, look at that garbage. Okay, we're gonna clean it out as best we can. Okay, so that took a more desperate measure. It's not perfectly clean, but I had to go outside and scrub it with a like heavy duty sponge and dish soap. <laughs> it was gross. I'm gonna put a liner, um, paper towels at the bottom. If I had newspaper, I would do that because it helps make it not stink so much down there, but I'm hoping the paper towels can at least catch any drops that go down. Officially done and look at the difference. Can you see there? Let me walk you through it really quick and just kind of give you an overview of what I did so you might have some ideas for your sink. All good things have to be redone at some point. So I have garbage, put extra garbage bags inside. It's a great way to easily put a garbage bag in and then if you don't have enough storage it's a great way to store them at the same time i keep all of my extra cleaning supplies back here the clorox wipes the vinegar and also back in this container have to have my scraper absolutely have to have it these are my three staples up front that i keep 
right here. Then I keep a container for all of my sponges. Sponges, um, Mr. What are those called? For I can't think of what they're called, but they clean so well and they're just the white like eraser thing. Oh my gosh, I can't think of them. But any of the Barilla pads I keep in here, I keep all the sponges together and then any extra things like gloves or um, I have a little extra cloths, things like that, they will go there. I keep my tabs in here, they're easy to see. My little one can't unscrew the lid, so that's a great idea for that. Here are my bags, they are easy. This lid is so easy to get in and out, I can do it with one hand. So it makes it for easy access and putting away instead of just chucking them in there somewhere. Um, then I have a little container back here for my Pimmy Stone for really st uh, tough stains. That is it. I actually wanted to go online and get some fancy pull-out drawers from the container store. But instead, I just saved myself 30 plus probably... 40 50 dollars so i was able to make it look so maybe i should keep it like that what do you think anyway i was able to make it look so much better can you everything has a place it looks so much better so yay i should have taken a before picture that would have been Bye.